Hey there guys, Zach here from InBeta, and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 10049. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build, which was 10041. So diving straight in, this build pretty much is all about Spartan. Microsoft said it themselves, this build is Spartan focused, there's not really anything new other than Spartan. There are a couple new things which I will show you after, but everybody wants to see the uh, the uh, the star feature here which is Project Spartan. Now before we get started I must let people know as per usual this is pre-release software does not represent the final product. Uh, this build, Spartan in this build is kind of buggy, not very stable, can sometimes crash if you're using multiple tabs and so on so keep that in mind things will be better when this when Windows 10 RTMs. So this is what the UI looks like if we go to win beta you can see it in all of its glory uh, keyboard shortcuts work like you would like you would expect, so Control T can add tabs and so on, which is fairly great. Uh, the UI up here, you can see you can add uh, things to your favorites or reading list, and you can also view them here. So here's your fa favorites, reading list, history, and downloads. There's also the option to annotate the web, which is pretty great because if you're if you're a frequent OneNote user, you can now just easily annotate web pages and send them straight to OneNote. So I can draw on the web page, I can highlight text, I can also not highlight text, so that doesn't appear to work. Clear of all. I can add comments for those who don't actually like to draw on web pages, so test comment. And I can also cut certain areas and send them straight to OneNote, which is fairly great. There's also the ability to send feedback, which is something you would expect in a pre-release build, so I don't expect this to be in the RTM version, but for those who are testing Spartan, this will be good for you to send feedback to Microsoft. And there's also a bunch of different settings. Uh, the, there's a bunch of new settings here which weren't actually available in the build I played with before, so um, here they are now. So you can share the favourites bar, change reading view options, change your startup page, so on IE or or any other browser really, you can change where you where the program launches, so most people use the tabs page, however that's not available in this build considering there is no tabs UI yet, that's coming in a later build. Like I said, this is a pre-release build of Spartan, therefore it's missing a bunch of things that you would expect a normal browser to have. You can change, or you will be able to change the search engine, which is interesting. Uh, clear browsing data, you know, the usual stuff, and you can also turn, eventually, Cortana on and off. Now, interestingly, in this build, Cortana doesn't appear to work for me outside of the US. Cortana works in the UK on Windows 10, as you can see here. I am using a Cortana, a, sorry, a UK-based install, but I can't appear to get her working in Spartan, so if I actually click on a article and query Cortana, she just won't tell me anything. She says, sorry, I'm not available in your region. And as you can see here, this is why Spartan is buggy, because it appears to be not letting me do what I want. There we go. Ask Cortana. And here we go. Oops, I'm not, I'm not available in your region, which is a shame because Cortana is pretty great when browsing Spartan, uh, when browsing with Spartan. So hopefully Microsoft fix this issue or release a new build in the near future with more region support. So for, the, so for those who actually want to see Cortana in action, click the annotation on screen now because I've already done a video of Cortana in action on Spartan in the past. So back to the settings area, let's see what else is new. You can help protect your PC from malicious sites, which is kind of what was already in IE anyway. And you can also enable and disable add-ons, which is fairly nice. There's also a developer tools mode, which is kind of just like the normal developer tools thing you see in IE 11, just in its own separate window. And I think that's about it. There's now a print dialogue, which opens up the new universal print dialogue screen thing. And I appear to have closed Spartan, and that's not what I wanted to do. And you can also find on page, much like you would expect, and share via the share charm. I know many people were missing that functionality in the IE desktop, so it's back in Windows 10 via the share charm in Spartan, which is fantastic. So that's really about it for Spartan. Again, this is pre-release software, not finished, so there are things missing. 
Moving on to the other changes, again only small changes in this build, uh, the alarms and clock app are now white as well as the calculator app. No idea why, I guess Microsoft are toying with a bunch of different colour schemes for their apps. I do I do believe there will be an option to change the colour between black or white when Windows 10 RTMs or you know whenever they implement it into the main branches. So uh, those who actually like this look or prefer the dark look will be able to change that eventually. I believe there was a way to actually... No, okay, never mind. I was going to say, I believe there's a way to actually toggle between them, but it doesn't look to be the case. Um, so there you have it, guys. That's about it for this build. Like I said, Microsoft has... Is, this build is pretty much all about Spartan, really, and Spartan is here. So for those who have been waiting, you can now play with Spartan and try out all of its new features. Um, hopefully Microsoft will be doing more things with Spartan in the near future or however I believe they might just be waiting until build until they show off all of Spartan in its glory. So um, there you have it guys, that's a quick look at Spartan running on Windows 10. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.